Yeah, she'll be in. Five foot two edge is holding the stair down there. Yeah. Do you, is that something you look for when you watch stare downs? Do you, do you actually take it into account? I know when I used to fight, I used to, I used to be all about it. I'd try to break guys in the side of the ring. <laughs> I'd look right through them. And after they looked the way, I felt so good. Really? I just felt like I had them. Then I had a guy talk to me once and it threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I don't remember. He smiled. He said, and I knew him from before. He had a lot of experience. And oh, big knee there. He lands said, like, right let's, away. Let's have fun, Jason, or something. And I was like, I was lost. <laughs> Well, these two look like they're having a little bit of fun, but as you can see Strong. right now, nice. Will has you know, completely been thrown off balance because Sean's coming out like a bit of a juggernaut. He is. He's, a little, He's just way bigger. I mean, I like they don't look like the same weight class to me right now. Yeah, his upper body is pretty massive. Yeah. He's got, he's got long limbs as well, and that was a big kick there. That could sometimes be good, sometimes be bad. When we're too much upper body? It just sometimes it slows you down if you cut a lot of weight and you try to put it back on the next day. I mean, Sean just kind of like... Uh, I mean, it's, it, it comes in handy in situations like this where you're going to be tying the guy up and you're going to use your extra weight on him. Will trying to block that kick. Looks to go for a head fake. Some, Lands a, a leg kick towards the end of that exchange. Jason, what do you think about body positioning here? As, as you know, see everybody's head is low in the clinch. Yeah, you just want to drop your weight a little bit. You always want to keep your weight nice and nice and centered and low to the ground. You don't want to get too high because that's when you get thrown or dumped. You know, but you also don't want to get your head too low because you don't want to get knee in the face. Will uh, lands a punch a little bit of a right hand towards the end of that exchange. But I think they learn a lot of bad habits because in the amateurs you can't knee to the face, so they'll drop their head even lower. Right. When in a pro fight, bring that knee right up. I think a lot of times there's a lot of un unnecessary wrestling too in the clinch. Yeah. Oh, nice evasion there. Biceps ten uh, tense up, and when your bicep tense up, it's really hard to punch. And you see Will, you know, trying to use his footwork a little bit more now and be a little bit more tentative and counter he and return. To, he needs to do things like that, where he plants his feet and he explodes. He's got a good hook. He's got to use that strong upper body. But then he and just he's looking for a cross block here, spins him, puts Sean in the corner, looking for that knee. Right now what he's looking to do is like tie, tie his arms up so that he can't do anything and he's got that, that right side of his body open. Sean needs to bring his arms down or break that. Chris Wagner separating him. Will ducks his head under and misses, uh, get, gets away from that right hand, but he winds up in the clinch with Sean. Sean's got a telegraph in that right hand. He throws the jab and he does kind of like the bow and arrow thing where he brings his right elbow up before he throws it. And I, and I feel like Will's seen that a mile away. Okay, and that's why he's bringing his head over to the side. He's gonna spin now, he keeps turning that foot. Yeah, you were, you were, you were expecting him to spin. Will took advantage of that. But Will's got to go in there and beat Matt. Uh, don't answer back with something silly. Explode off that hook. You want to fight like a flat-footed fighter, you got to know how to fight like that. There ah, we go. Big right hand lands by Will there in that exchange. Nice toss to the canvas. Really un I'm trying to unsettle uh, Sean here. I'm not sure here. why he keeps jumping in the air like that. But. I think he's like, going for a jumping kick. Um, not necessary, but sometimes you want to look to do something fun or cool or explosive. So now they're waiting. What are they waiting for? You yeah, that's that. that you know, they, they stand and they <laughs> wait, and then they can throw a big combination. There's no right overhand right lands by Will. Up. Kick they just, by Will. There we go. But then he that's, stops. There's and looks that hook him. again. Oh, getting fancy towards the end of that. Oh, now it's getting mean. See, but now his face. You know, I just I just keep fueling that fire. Right. Just yeah, get well, all they, over them. They're both just kind of running in. Now yeah. it's like a wrestling match. And now it's just fighting on emotions. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to uh, upset Chris Wagner, which obviously it is. See? Now the angry Wagner comes He's like, out. calm down. <laughs> Wagner does not like that. He does not play around. He wants to see a good, safe, and clean fight. Again, Chris Wagner, a champion in his own right, fought for many, many years.
Nice stiff jab that lands by Will. He's trying to, yeah, he throws him off balance. Not necessarily the, the cleanest, but he does catch and throw him off balance. So I'm seeing what you're saying, uh, Jason, about the waiting. You know, and, and, and they both wait, and then they both have nothing. There's, there's, you know, there's no big knee that lands by Sean there. a jab, a push kick, a switch kick. So what are you saying? They're just going to take it basic, keep it basic. Just, yeah, just no jabs. Just big shots. Look at that. If, if I had the reach like this kid, I'd be all over his face with my jab. He's just standing there looking at him. See, that push kick's even good. And then yeah. he throws it slow, and then he falls in and does this. Come on, fall out, make it exciting. Uh, I'm small, I don't want them falling. <laughs> I think you'll be all right, they'll land on the TV. <laughs> yeah, and then nothing is really straight down the just, middle. Yeah, and it's just a lot of holding. It's not quality clinching. You know, he's now he's kneeing him in the thigh and just kind of kneeing him wherever, but. It was a, it was a, a fight. It was a fight. It, it's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a winner by unanimous decision after three rounds of action. Representing Anderson Martial Arts, John the Machete Edge. That was tough to do.